السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. This is teacher Ibrahim Salama from Ibn Khaldun Al Yasmin Primary Section, and this is the fourth video of online learning. Uh, it's the fourth video in the second week. Today, inshallah, we are going to have lesson seven, in unit nine. So please get ready and open your class book on page one hundred. Again, open your class book on page one hundred. Our lesson today is a class composition. Look at the pictures. Talk about the pictures. Write the instructions. So, I need you to look at the pictures and tell me what can you see. Yes, we can see a boy. He has a cut in his hand washing hands wearing gloves again washing the cut and so on so we are going to talk about the pictures and write instructions for how to deal with the cut so let's start how to deal with a cut again Look at the pictures, talk about the pictures, then write instructions. How to deal with a cut. Number one, I need you to know that you are talking about a person who is helping another one with a cut. So, number one, wash your hands with soap and water. Remember, you are not the injured one, you are helping another one. So, first, wash your hands with soap and water. Next, again, you are not the injured one. So, wear disposable gloves. You remember the word disposable. Disposable means some, something that you use only once, then you remove it and dispose it. Okay, so wear disposable gloves. Why do you think it's important to wear gloves while dealing with cuts? Excellent, excellent. To stop or to prevent infection. To stop or to prevent infection. Either from the patient to you or from from you to the patient so this is our second step wear disposable gloves after that as you see in the pictures this is your hand you are helping another one so this is the hand of the doctor the nurse the father mom etc and this is the boy's hand you are helping another one okay so the third one wash the cut to prevent infection to stop infection and infection means spreading bacteria or germs from one person to another so wash the, the cut to prevent infection so how can we wash the cut use cool water and a mild soap or cleaner to remove dirt or debris so we need to remove dirt or debris from the cut what do we use we use water 
and a mild soap or cleaner why do we do this because washing the cut prevents infection we need to prevent infection let's move to number four after washing the cut you need to dry the cut so dry the cut with a clean cloth again dry the cut with clean cloth stop the bleeding of course most of the cuts starts bleeding so you need to stop bleeding how can we stop the bleeding cut apply pressure to the cut using a clean cloth maintain pressure for one or two minutes or until the bleeding stops so how long should I apply pressure on the cut you can apply the pressure or apply pressure to the cut one or two minutes or until the bleeding stops step number five If possible, ask the patient to raise the cut up to stop the bleeding or to stop bleeding. As you see in the picture, he's asking the boy to raise his hand up. Why is he doing so? Because he wants to stop the bleeding. If you raise the cut up, you can stop or prevent bleeding this is step number five number six here we're going to talk about pictures six seven and eight apply petroleum jelly this is a kind of medicine which you put on cats to help it heal faster this will help keep the cut moist for faster healing make sure you apply it continuously until the cut heals this means that you are not going to add or apply the petroleum Jelly, uh, jelly for one time no make sure to apply it continuously every day twice a day and so on until the cut heals why do we use petroleum jelly or why do we apply it on the cut to help prevent the spread of dirt and bacteria if you don't do this you are helping the spread of dirt or bacteria consider using petroleum jelly from a tube as you see he's using a tube why do we use a tube not a jar because this helps prevent the spread of bacteria or infection The last step is we are talking about picture number nine in your book. Cover the cut with a bandage. Do you know the word bandage? Can you tell me the meaning of the word bandage? Yeah, correct. Bandage is medical stuff that you apply on cuts that's it so cover the cut with a bandage this will help protect the cut so why do we cover the cut with a bandage because it helps protecting the cut also it prevents 
uh, uh, prevents the cut from reopening. If you leave the cut without covering, it may reopen again. So, this uh, cover the cut with a bandage. This will help protect the cut and prevent it from reopening. Change the bandage daily. Again, why do we change the bandage daily? Because you are going to remove it to apply petroleum jelly to stop bacteria from spreading and so on. So you have to use clean bandage again daily. And keep the cut covered until it heals. This was the last step. Of course, you are asked to write the instructions in your book here, in the space in your book. Here, you are going to write the instructions which we studied today. How are you going to write it? Again, go back to the start or the beginning of the video until you reach the first step, pause the video and start writing the instructions. Then continue until you reach step number two, pause the video and start writing step number two and so on until you reach step number nine. This concludes our video for today. Thanks very much for watching the video and inshallah we are going to meet tomorrow in the next video. See you and goodbye.